Okay guys, now it's time to do the video. So we'll get down on that mat. So you can have a ball available if you want to, otherwise you don't have to worry about it. And I will be doing an order for balls and bands at any point. So if you want to, if you want one of these, email me and uh, I'll get that sorted. Okay, so let's get down on the mat. And we're gonna start off with a basic 100. So I want you to just gently roll down through the spine and into that mat. Okay, so let's check our positions. I want you to think about your head, neck and shoulders being nice and relaxed into the mat. Tummies and pelvic floor being pulled in. And we're gonna go for 100. So pull it in as hard as you can. And I want you to gently ease it out. And again, so really think about pulling that pelvic floor in and up. Belly button to spine, really pulling it in, contracting those muscles. And then gently easing it out. Well done, let's go for one more. So again, pulling it all in, controlling those tummy muscles and those pelvic floors. And start to gently ease it out. And you're gonna hold it about 30%. So we've got the tummy and pelvic floor engaged, but it's not too much. It's just holding it around about 30%. Okay, so again, checking head, neck and shoulders, tummy, pelvic floors engaged. Deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale, let's take one foot up and then the other. Do so you want a nice straight line from the knee down to hip, holding that there. If you're new to this, guys, imprint that back, gently tilt so your back is flattening into that mat and hold it. Okay, we're going to go for two deep breaths, all the way in through the nose, and out. And again, deep breath in, and out. Well done, okay, let's gently take that down for a little rest. Okay, so you can just start to slowly build up on that, and if you're new to it, you can just stick with that, guys. Okay, if you want to add to it, we're going to go again. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift, bring those legs up into that 100. Nice straight line from knee to hips. And gently lift off. Reaching those hands towards those feet, holding those shoulders there. And we're gonna pulse. Your breathing changes slightly. You're gonna breathe in, two, three, foot, out, two, three, foot, in, two, three, foot, out, two, three, foot, again, in, two, three, foot, out two three four last one in two three four out two three four hold and gently take it down knees into the chest and just gently roll up side to side lovely well done so that is starts us off on a quite a few basic moves okay so we're going to take those legs down now have a little rest here for a second and then we're going to carry on working those tummy muscles a little bit further. Okay, so we're going to take both legs straight up, holding it there. Now you can come up, shoulders off the floor, holding here. I'm going to give you two options. Option one is you just tap down and up. Down and up. Well done. Down and up. If you are confident and want to go a little bit further, you can take one leg down and switch. Down and switch. So all the time breathing, guys, not holding those breaths, concentrating on those tummy muscles. They're really working. That belly button to spine is working. You're not feeling too much of that neck. If you are, you can drop it down and then just go back to bending those legs. So you're just taking it down and switch. Otherwise, carry on with this one. And we're just going to go for another four. Well done. Three. Lovely. Two. And one. And let's hold those legs up. Hold it there. Gently drop it down. And we're going to go into a full body stretch. So stretching those legs out and arms all the way out. Stretching fingertips to one side, toes to the other. And well done guys, good job. So that's a little couple of basic tummy exercises to do. Help strengthen the core as well as a little bit of the lower abs as well. So let's bring those feet in and we're going to go for our bands if you have one. Otherwise you can do it gently without. Okay, as long, but you will have to keep those circles a little bit smaller. So taking the band over one foot, taking it all the way up. And you're just going to gently go into some small little leg circles. 
So if you have no band, this is what to do, so stick with small little circles. If you're feeling confident with that, and you have got a band, you can take that leg away, and then take it round. You're taking the leg all the way around, working through that hip joint, strengthening it there, well done. And you're going to add a bit of breathing. So you should be breathing anyway, of course, but let's focus on some deep breathing. So we're just going to change direction first. So I want you to take a breath in, all the way in, and now out. And again, in, and out. Well done, and holding it back up to centre, bring that knee in, and switch sides. So again, taking the band up, keeping the other leg slightly bent to start, start those leg circles. Again, remember you're keeping them small if you've got no bands. If you're feeling confident with that, you can slide that leg away. Hands on hips always help to make sure you're not moving around too much, and all the way up to be coming through here. Well done, and again, all the way round. Breathing, remember that breathing. Let's go for one more, we'll change direction again. So going around the other way. Breathing in, and out. Well done, two more. All the way in, and out. Well done, good job. Bring the knees in now. And again, just hold it there. Gently rolling that foot, that back side to side. Excellent, well done. Again, the boys are with me, helping me out with this exercise. They might just find that I'm far more interesting on the floor, so again, I apologise if they interrupt. Okay, let's take those legs down now. And if you have a ball or a pillow, you can use one of these or even a block. You want to pop it between your knees. Okay, so let's check those positions, head, neck and shoulders are relaxed, tummies, pelvic floors are engaged, we're going to go up into a shoulder bridge. So I want you to start to peel that back off the mat, so you go into a pelvic tilt first and then up you go. So you're going up through each part of that vertebrae, so each one individually, hips head up to the ceiling, or sky in my case, take a deep breath in, exhale and down. Rolling down through the spine, all the way down back into your neutral, and back down to here. So you don't have to have a ball, but it's up to you whether you want one or not. Okay, deep breath in, exhale, up we go. Again, rolling up through the spine, all the way up, hips heading up, nice and controlled, holding it here, deep breath in, exhale and roll down. Again, rolling down through that body all the way back into the mat. Lovely, one more time, we're going to add to it this time, deep breath in. Exhale, roll up, going all the way up, hips heading all the way up here, so nice and controlled, working those glutes. We're going to squeeze that pull, and release. Squeeze, and release. Squeeze, and release. Let's go for another four, so four, release, three, release, Two, last one, we're going to squeeze it this time and pulse it here. So we're pulsing those knees together, well done. So pulse, pulse for four, three, two, and one. Hold, deep breath in, exhale and roll down through the spine, all the way down, back into neutral. Release the ball, bring those knees in, and again, just ease out a little bit. Excellent, well done, good job. Okay, so we're going to stretch it all the way out now. And we're going to go into a roll up. So I'll give you option two, which is the harder option. And then I'll show you how you can do it with the band, wherever it's disappeared to. Okay, so we're going for a deep breath in. Exhale, you're bringing those hands up. You're starting to curl that body all the way off the mat, heading all the way up to the ceiling and down to those toes. After the bank holiday, my back's a bit stiff, so I can't quite get as far as I would normally. I'm gonna go for a deep breath in, and exhale and down. This is quite good for the back though. So you're rolling down through the spine, and back out. So let's try that again. Deep breath in, exhale up, 
reaching up, tucking the chin into the chest, curl all the way up, reach up to the sky or ceiling, down to the toes. Then again, take it up. Exhale, and again, so you're going rolling down through the spine, each individual vertebrae, before you gently go down. So guys, if that's relatively okay, carry on with that. Otherwise, if you find it hard getting up and your legs are jumping around, you can do a band. So, again, you sit up nice and tall, you gradually take it down, and you might not get too far, you know, you might think, I can't get any further down, so you can gradually come back up. Eventually, you're going to come all the way down, all the way down, so that head's down, and then again, slowly curling up. Excellent. So that's a good way just to help you in between, because I know sometimes you could be here and you go, oh, all those feet come up. So again, using that band will just help with the process. Okay. So let's get on our fronts then. We're going to do a little bit of back work. A little bit more stomach work, getting into the deep abdominal muscles, and then we'll go into some sides, and that should be okay, I think, for the time being. So, coming down onto those tummies, all the way down, bringing those hands either side of you, okay? Dropping that head down to the mat, keeping those eyes looking down on the mat. Deep breath in, exhale up. So, this is just a very basic swan dive, inhale down. Exhale, lift, and inhale back. So you'll feel it through here, just a gentle little ease as you come in and back. Let's go for two more. Exhale, lift. So it's always important to keep those eyes looking down at the mat because that keeps your spine in a nice, safe, neutral position. Last one. Up and back. Okay, now you can add to it. You've got two choices. Choice one, lifting and lowering. Choice, choice two, hands behind the back. Lift and lower. So completely up to you which way you prefer. You just keep lifting and lowering. Always exhaling on the way up. Inhaling on that way down. Keep going all the way up and down. And if you want to add one tiny bit more, you're going to add those feet and down. Well done. Let's go two more. Lift and lower. And last one. Lift and lower and relax. We're going to take it back into a child's pose. So you push all the way back. Drop those hands. Take those hands back to those feet and hold it here. Head into the mat and relax. Slowly coming back up, and let's gently take it back down onto the tummy again. So again, nice and controlled, down you go, hands coming underneath. So we've got a nice straight line from shoulder down to elbow, and we're going to go into a leg pull through. So I want you to focus on your tummy muscles again, so belly button to spine, remember not 100%, 30%. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to slowly start to curl yourself up. You're not quite on your knees like this. You're holding it just above and just before the knees and hold. And now if I actually take deep breaths, I want you to feel those tummy muscles shaking. That means you've got it right. So we're working those deep abdominal muscles. So let's go deep breath all the way in. And out. And again, deep breath in. And out. And let's go one more fill up, all the way in, and out, and well done, gently take that down, push it back up into now, a cat stretch. So we're in a box position, so that's straight line, down, straight line, down, deep breath in, exhale, tuck that tailbone under, arch that back up, and relax. Again, deep breath in. And out. And again, deep breath in. And out. And well done. So 
final exercise for today is we're going to go on to our sides and we're going to stretch ourselves all the way out. Lovely. So you're a nice straight line. Imagine you're lined up to the front of your mat. Hips are stacked. Tummies are engaged. Hands are there to support us. We're going to take that top leg in line with that hip. And we're going to squeeze that bottom leg up and back. And again. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. And again. Lift and lower. Excellent. Keep that going. Lift and lower, well done, we're going to do two more, lift and lower, on this last one I want you to hold it up there, so you're going to lift and hold, right, while you're holding this, spare hand can go away, again, tummies are pulled in, pelvic floors are engaged, we're holding it here, well done, so this isn't easy, and you might notice your feet don't come very far off the ground, but that's fine, this is all new, and you'll be working down these sides, all through your obliques, a little bit round here through the back as well. Okay, so let's go for a deep breath all the way in. As you exhale, hoist and hold for four, three, two, and one. Hand comes down, bring it down, and knees into the chest and rest. Excellent. Well, that's one side down, other side to go. All the way up, gently push it up. Let's switch over to the other side. Legs going over the other way. Stretching those bodies out again, all the way out. Okay, again, tummy in, hips stacked, lined up to the front of that mat, hand there to support you. Top leg comes up in line with that hip, and squeeze it up, and lower. So you're just breathing at your own pace here, so it's just making sure you're breathing in and out, as deep or as little as you want to. Obviously, the deeper the better. Well done, lift and lower, Harry's too hot obviously, and lift, it is quite warm now actually, and again, okay, this time we're going to hold it up, all the way hold, hand goes away, squeezing it there, keeping those tummies in and breathing guys, important to keep breathing, never hold your breath, okay, deep breath in, exhale, lift and hold for four, three, two, and one, hand comes down, gently down, knees in, and rest. And well done guys, so that is your basic core exercises, a few of the basic do Pilates, obviously you can add to that if you want to. You can now go and do the cool down section, so some nice stretching, or if you want to hang around for the strengthening one, that's the video we're going to do next. Okay, take it easy, see you soon.